Good morning everybody. Brand new day. Brand new video. And today we're heading to Mustafa and meeting him. <laughs> so that's my uh, guest today. Okay, Punjabi Samosa. What exactly is Punjabi Samosa? Well, in the Pau is actually Punjabi. So today I'm gonna learn a bit about Punjabi food from Indepal and if you guys don't know Indepal is Singapore's newest master chef this looks delicious so this is the Punjabi food black. why is it called black salt thanks boss I've been waiting all night for you to serve me one. <laughs> so today I'm with Indepal, Singapore's brand new master chef. Hey, morning guys, how you doing? <laughs> so we're gonna go uh, yes, we're gonna Mustafa go to today. I'm gonna learn a bit more about Punjabi food and uh, of course about Indepal as well. Awesome. So do you get recognized on the streets these days? Um, not when I'm dressed like that. <laughs> <laughs> this is my dress down. <laughs> yeah, but surely... Um, yeah, okay. Because surely I think I uh, MasterChef is quite well watched in Singapore, right? Oh, yeah, it is. It right? is. It's well watched. Uh, I've come to Mustafa um, ever since I won. I think I've come here about 50 times. So I've been recognized about 40 times. So oh, right. <laughs> this is not too bad. <laughs> yeah. So how was the MasterChef experience for you, man? Oh, it was crazy. It was, uh, it was an amazing journey. Um, I met so many amazing chefs. Yeah. And also the friendships that I made with the rest of the contestants is crazy. Like we still talk. Um, almost every day we are chatting. We have a big group chat where everybody's just talking, you know. Yeah. Oh, I'm doing this. You guys have any suggestions? So I'm trying that. And everybody's like, oh, can you try this? It's amazing. It's, yeah. When you meet people that are so passionate about food, just like you, wow, that's a, one of the best feelings in the world. Yeah. <laughs> So actually, tell me a bit about your background, right? Mm -hmm. Were you already uh, in food or doing stuff with food? Or was your dad in food? Or um, So my dad actually was, um, he was a community leader in one of the Sikh temples. Right. So in Singapore, when you want to be a community leader, you got to do a lot of community service. Right. And in uh, Sikh temples, most of the time we do langar. So langar is a free kitchen. Langar. Yeah. Okay. L A. N double G A R. All right. So it's a free kitchen started by our gurus back in the day when when they were in India. Right. And uh, basically everybody who comes to a Sikh temple gets a free meal, a free vegetarian meal. Right. Right. And um, all the dietary restrictions are more or less taken into consideration. Right. So that's how he started. He started doing seva. Seva is selfless service, and of course he right. got his children involved. We all got involved as well doing it and that's where the love for food started for me actually right so i was about five six years old right and then uh you know we used to go every sunday morning at about five in the morning and uh, everybody would make chapatis on this giant uh, metal plate yeah but i was a kid right and yeah. no one's gonna let a small kid go ahead and yeah set it around the fire so i saw this big giant burly men you know mixing these giant vats of dal of different vegetables and that just blew my mind right right you add a little powder you add a little this the color changes the flavor changes the taste is yeah for me that was magic and that's it that's it i was hooked yeah <laughs> so is a uh, lungar and seva uh, uh, what kind of words are those are they so uh, punjabi words punjabi words yeah, ah, right. not uh, not hindi or um, tamil or whatever it's not tamil but in hindi they use the same words similarly All right, so okay. there are a lot of similarities between uh, devnagri which is the hindi script and gurmukhi which is the punjabi script so when did you actually start cooking because I think I read a bit of your bio. Yeah. Before you joined, you were thinking of joining MasterChef uh, previously, right? Yeah, in season one, I actually thought about it. So uh, season one, if I'm not wrong, was in, I think, 2017, 2018. Right. And uh, I had just newly gotten married. I just got a new job uh, working for the ministry. Oh, what were you, what was your job? I, I used to work for the Ministry of Manpower. So I used oh, to right. help them do like some cases and all of that for right. domestic helpers. Right. Um, and then I, I thought, okay lah, you know, it's it's a bit. I'm just newly married. I better not take such a big risk, you know. <laughs> okay. You know, my wife would be like, oh, what did I marry? Yeah. <laughs> you know, so I thought, okay, I'll give it a while. And then COVID, right? COVID hit. Oh, okay. That was pretty bad. And um, yeah, and then I saw left and right everybody around me either leaving or being told to leave because 
COVID, everybody downsized. Right. And then I thought, okay, this is a good opportunity for me to try something. Yeah. Because now everybody's stuck at home, right? Right. Nobody can leave the country. Maybe if I try selling my food now, it'll either be an affirmation for me or it will show me that, okay, I don't belong in the industry. Right. So I did that. I started a home-based business called uh, Mr. Singh Eats. All oh, right. Okay. So I've, that's where the name comes yeah, from. Yeah, that's where the name comes from. Okay. And... Um, I started it just selling two things, chapati and butter chicken. That's it. All right. Okay. And I did that for why? Why, why those two things? Uh, butter chicken is one of the things that uh, I find very comforting, and it's a dish that I learned how to make very very quickly. Is butter chicken just your regular Indian butter chicken, or is it a? Um, is there some pan, <laughs> Punjabi sort of thing in it? Well. Butter chicken itself is not a Punjabi dish. It's yeah. actually a Mughalai dish. So it, it comes from the Delhi part of India. Right. Um, but now if you go to India, you find it everywhere. Yeah. So, so northern, uh, more northern. Yeah, more northern, central, northern sort of dish. And yeah. Punjabi is... Uh, Punjabi is in the absolute north. Very near Pakistan. Yeah, it's on the border. On the border, yeah. okay. So pre-partition, um, India... Uh, pre-partition, Punjab actually included the whole of Pakistan. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, so Lahore Lahore used to be the old capital of Punjab. Oh, yeah. I see, okay. Yeah. I, di- I didn't know that. There you go. All right, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, uh, that, that would mean that a lot of uh, Punjabis are in Pakistan now as well. There are a lot of Punjabis in Pakistan. Uh, Punjabi, ethnically Punjabi. Yeah. But um, religiously, most of them are Muslims. All yeah. oh, right, okay. Yeah. So, Punjabi is just a uh, culture. Right. It's just that you are from the area, so you listen to Pangra music, you eat... Pangra? Pangra, yeah. The, the music that you were listening to, All right. or that you're going to be listening to... So um, the difference in <laughs> Pangra music is that maybe the musical instruments are different? Or? Yeah, so primarily it has the toll, which is this big drum, right. that gives you the beat. And then there's also a tumbi, which is a one-stringed instrument that gives you... the You know the iconic uh, song, um, the... <laughs> Punjabi MC one that nang 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 oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Tumbi, so oh yeah okay 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 yeah yeah once you do that uh, okay I know that so everyone <laughs> everyone knows that uh, my last trip to Delhi mm. uh, the Airbnb I stayed in okay. was with a Punjabi guy All right. who had a uh, biryani business yeah right and I remember the wife uh, cooked aloo gobi yeah. for me so uh, is aloo gobi a Punjabi dish or um, it would probably be the quintessential vegetarian North Indian dish. I, I can't, I don't want to start a controversy by saying okay. it's a Punjabi dish. <laughs> because right. there's so much of, you see the thing about Punjab, or anywhere in India actually, is the, the amount of colonization it's gone through. Yeah. The amount of um, takeovers that have been that have never happened is just, it's crazy. So the influences are so many. Right. There's so many. So it, it was started with the Mughals, right? They, they yeah. came down from... Uh, Turkey, Turkmenistan, all of that area down and then they, they colonized that area and then they ruled it for so many years. That's why you have all these amazing sauces that are so creamy and so decadent, like biryanis came from there as well. Right, yeah. yeah. Right, and all of that, the Persian side and all of that, all of that heavy Mughalai uh, Muslim influence came with all of that food. And then the Punjabis, after, you know, they defeated the, the Mughals, the, the Sikhs ruled Punjab for a few years. So then it became very vegetarian for the Sikhs generally right. are vegetarian. Oh, okay. That was actually one question yeah. I was going to ask. Yeah. Is that uh, Punjabi is a mix of vegetarian, non-vegetarian or is it like... Punjabis are a mix. Yeah. Sikhs uh, who are baptized are supposed to be vegetarian. Okay. And uh, the, the word Sikh means learning, a learner. Oh, right. Okay. So our journey is never complete. So even if you get baptized, you're still learning and learning and learning. Right. So I'm not a very good Sikh. Right. <laughs> Because I'm not a vegetarian, right? But I'm trying to get there maybe one day, right. if um, you know, who knows? Right, right, right. <laughs> so most Sikhs who are baptized will be vegetarian. Right. There are okay. Hindus who are vegetarian as well. Right. And then you have the Jain community who don't have like um, you know uh, they don't have root vegetables and all that. But there are also Jains who live in Punjab, so by therefore they are Punjabi. Right. Yeah. Okay. Culturally they are Punjabi, but religiously they are Jain, they are Hindu, they are Buddhist, they are Sikh. Jain as in Jain. Yes. J A J A. Okay, so what what I Jain, from what I uh, know, from what little I know, is probably the strictest vegetarians. Yes. Right. They strictest don't, vegetarians. They don't consume root vegetables. Yes. Yeah. So no onion, no garlic, no ginger. Yeah. Yeah. And the reason for that is because uh, uh, for this okay, this is just second hand yeah. info. <laughs> is that when they they believe the Jain believe in not. Uh, 
uh, killing any uh, living any living being. being. Okay. So the root I crops, when you pull, uh, like coriander, or whatever, mm. when you take it out, you actually kill the plant. Yeah. You know. So okay. that makes sense. That's that's what I understand. Yeah. yeah. Fair yeah. enough. Fair enough. All right. I'm known as the spicy chili guy, right? Yep. Yep. So <laughs> do Punjabis uh, enjoy the chili and spice? Um, if you go to Punjab, not so much. Right. But. I feel like there's this beautiful thing that happens when people migrate. So Singaporean Punjabis love chili. Oh yeah, okay. And then their neighbors in Malaysia yeah. will laugh at the amount of chili we eat because right. that's not chili. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but do you uh, do they put uh, chili in the cooking or is it like more like a condiment, um, like a sambal? Yeah. They don't do a sambal. It's uh, either in the sauce or it's not in the sauce in Punjab. Right. But here we do like a sambal on the side. So like something that's so Punjabi and like so Indian. Andrea in India has their own version of dal. Right. So right. dal and rice is a comfort meal. Yeah. But in Singapore we have it with like ikambile sambal. Right. Or we right, have right. it with tofu sambal. You right, know? But right. that is the influence of us being in Singapore. Yeah. Right. And uh, there's some things that have evolved like one dish that I can give you guys an example for is sag. Sag okay. Sag, so, How do you spell uh, that? S S W E G. The S W E G okay. Yeah, so like um, sag is quintessentially it's a vegetarian dish. Yeah. But because of the migration, yeah. when the migrants came here they realized that they're doing a lot more labor, they'll need protein in their diet and they were living in kampongs, right? Yeah. Only two things that are available in the kampong at that time was goat and pork. Right. So this dish came about known as sag suri. Sag suri. Suri. Suri is pork. Alright, oh, okay. So they use the pork butt, the meat very nice and tender. They cook it down with the sag and it becomes sag suri. It's just something so delicious. How big is the uh, Punjabi community? Um, If I'm not wrong, if my numbers are not wrong, I think there's only about 7,000 of us left in Singapore now. So little? Yeah. Uh, which is a lot less from about. 10 years ago. I think 10 years ago there was a census done and it's about 21,000 of us. Oh, right. And now it's about 7,000. It's a lot of migration um, that happened. But the thing I love about Mustafa is that you can get everything. <laughs> yeah. I, I remember, I, actually I remember, I don't know, I don't think they still have it. Uh, but I remember maybe over a decade ago I came to Mustafa yeah. and they had a uh, sleeping tank. Okay. Like oh, an yeah. oxygen it's tank. Below. Oh, they still, still have it? Have it yes. Oh, you wow. Go have a look? Yeah, yeah, later we can have a look. Yeah. So, Mustafa is the only place in Singapore where you can buy all your shit, right, from apples to gold. Yes. You can also, in the old days, apply for your Indian visa. I don't know if you can. I don't uh, think you can anymore. I don't know. And they have an oxygen tank here. There you go. For what, huh? For, I, I guess, just to rest. <laughs> I remember uh, yes. the oxygen tank, seeing the oxygen tank. And they got it because uh, that was when Michael Jackson was around and uh, uh, the news came out that he was sleeping in an oxygen tank. There, there you go. <laughs> Anything that sells, right? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, what do we have here? So this is my favourite part of Mustafa, the spice rack. Everything and everything that you could want is here in terms of spices. Right. Even if I buy something that is like, an example like this, I will right. still mix my own spices. I'll add a bit more chilli powder, turmeric, right. whatever it is to, to make it my own blend. What's the difference between like a meat masala and a chicken masala? So chicken masala usually it's um, they have a little bit of a lighter spices, right? Because the meat is white. Yeah. But for meat masalas, generally used for lamb, used for you know mutton and stuff like that. So they have stronger spices, more star anise, more cinnamon, right? Things that can take a punch. So is there like a spice that is uh, unique to Punjabi cuisine, or not really? Um. I don't know about Punjabi cuisine per se, but there's a, if you want to know a spice that is unique to my cuisine, is chaat masala. I love chaat masala. <laughs> <laughs> the way I cook. Um, no, there is no specific spice specific to Punjabi cuisine. We use all the spices. All right. Yeah. So, so what exactly is chaat? Like for, for, for someone watching who doesn't know what chaat is. So chaat is this beautiful, beautiful um, street food. Yeah. So chaat is a kind of street food. It usually encompasses a yogurt, a sweet sauce, and a spicy sauce. They mix those together, it creates this umami bomb. The chaat masala usually has, very important is the dried mango and the black salt. Right. Everything else is sort of secondary. Oh, dried mango and... Black salt. These black two salt. are okay. quintessential to making a chaat masala. The rest of them you can mess around with, you can play whatever you want to do. 
but yeah, these two. What, what exactly is black salt? Eh? It's um, they actually have it here. I can show it to you. It actually is, is in black. It's pink. So <laughs> chaat, oh, so chaat as well is uh, the street food that you get. That uh, usually there's rice crisps and rice crisps. Sometimes well. there's rice crispy. So there's so many types of chaat. There's right. papri chaat. There's gold gappas. Pani puri is considered chaat. Yeah. Then you have fruit chaat. So people just selling fruit. They'll sprinkle the chaat masala on top. Oh just right, right, So right. it's so so diverse. Right, right. Chaat is so diverse. So this is, uh, I mean, it's been quoted as a very Punjabi dish. Dal the makani. Yeah. Dal makani, okay. Yeah, because uh, makan generally comes from Punjab. There are other regions in India who do makan as well. Okay. So makan is, uh, there's butter, then there's ghee, and then there's one more layer after that. It's called makan. It's the white uh, that you get Im- immediately from churning the butter, the white yeah. fat. Right, right. Yeah, when you churn the milk, so you get right. makan. So that's where the dal makani comes from. But right. if you trace its roots back, it's actually Mughalai. All oh, right. Okay. Yeah, but it's available everywhere. Right. Yeah, so I think everyone... I mean, you can get this in Ting Siong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I kind of yeah. use this because it's quite readily accessible. Yeah. So when I married my wife, my my grandfather-in-law actually was a guy who makes Indian sweets. Right. And he's very sought after, but now he's so um, elderly that people don't call on him anymore because right. they know that he will not say no. <laughs> right, right, right. But he can't. This is your father-in-law? He's my grandfather-in-law. Oh, your grandfather, yeah. okay. Yeah, so he uses RKG for all his sweets and he cooks all his sweets in RKG. He doesn't use oil in any of his wow, okay. dishes. He only uses ghee, which is why it's so decadent and so tasty, right? right? Um, yeah, so there's so many different types now. Varka is a Punjabi brand. So this is the Punjabi script. Oh, okay, this one. see ghee, work. Well, what's it called again? Kyo. Kyo is the Punjabi version of ghee. Oh, kyo. Kyo. Okay. Pardon my ignorance, but is uh, are Punjabis uh, known as the warriors of, uh, <laughs> uh, or is that like a misquote or what? Um, it's not a misquote. Uh, generally, most of the wars that were fought in Punjab were led by the Sikhs. Right. Uh, against an oppressor or even for land or whatever, it was right. led by Sikhs. Yeah. But they are across the board. They're Muslims. They're, they're, they're Hindus and all of that. It's just. Um, I think one interesting fact, I don't know the percentages, but yeah. uh, we are one of the smallest groups, Sikhs are one of the smallest groups uh, of people in India, Right. but we have one of the highest uh, population in the armed forces. Oh, right, yeah. okay. So, right. What's um, the secret to making good butter chicken? Very, very fresh tomatoes. Oh, okay. That is important. So you don't use puree? No. Okay. You can add a little bit if you feel like the tomatoes are a bit underwhelming. You can right. add a little bit to just you know perk it up. Yeah. But you need to have good tomato. I use two types of tomatoes. One is the normal one that you get off the rack. Right. And the other one is the Italian Roma tomatoes. Oh, okay. Yeah, the ones are in the can. Right, right. The one with the skin peeled off and all right, that. Right, so, right, right. Yeah. Indian yeah. carrots, huh? Just Indian carrots? Yep. This is what they look like when they pull them out of the ground. Interesting color. Mm. The last time I came here, I asked the lady said that they sell it was uh, arby leaves. Arby leaves, okay. Do you uh, eat arby leaves? I've tried them. Um, I was indifferent as they're all right. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I was born in Fiji, right? Okay. So we eat a lot of arby leaves there. Let's check it out. I think yes, yeah, this is leaf section. If it's gonna be anywhere, it's gonna be here. Hey, there you go. Wow, arby leaves. There you go. Mustafa he wasn't lying. Really has everything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually gonna get some of these. There you go. Oh, they have arby leaves. So this is taro leaves. Okay. Right. Yeah, it's like a bug, man. Yeah, because sometimes uh, they might be like torn inside, uh, so yeah. I want to make sure that uh, I'm getting good ones. Wow, look at this! I'm buying arby leaves with in the bar. There you go, Mustafa. <laughs> yeah. One, two, three. Actually, uh, today was supposed to be today was supposed to be in the park buying stuff, but end up no I'm buying I'm actually buying Let's the stuff. Buy stuff together. <laughs> you want anything? I'm good for now, man. Yeah, you sure? Yeah, yeah. What's your favorite meat, man? My personal favorite, I love prawns. All right. You can do so many things with them. Yeah. And this is a beef over here, and the thing that I like about Papa is the lamb actually. All right, okay. Very good fresh lamb and it comes in every day fresh and they have very very different cuts. They have lamb and goat. Yeah. That's what I like. So are you the one uh, cooking at home every day for family? Oh no. Huh? <laughs> My wife. Oh she cooks as well. Uh, we both do but I cook a bit more than her. 
Who's a better cook? Uh, you have to ask her. <laughs> 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 this is paneer. Yeah. So this is the the version that I prefer to buy, which is the whole block. Right. So it's you know um, you can manipulate it how you like, or if I have time. So for paneer is uh, cheese. Indian cottage cheese, right? There you go. Black, why is it called black salt? Eh? It's just I don't know why it's called black salt. It's a very good question. Is it is it as salty as like normal salt or? So it's got more like a. It's more like a umami kind of salty flavor. It's not really salty per se. All right. It's more like a mangoey, dry, you know, like fruity right. kind of flavor almost. Okay. Yeah. So it's more a spice than a salt. Like. Yeah, I would say that. It's All more right. of a condiment compared right. to like salt. You need salt in right. every dish. And how how would you how would you use it? I use it when I do my chants. Oh right. Okay. Yeah. Let's get some RV leaves, huh? RV and these are extra hot bird's eye chili padi. So the dish is called polisami. Okay. I think polisami, although it sounds Indian, right? Mm. I think it's a Samoan word. Okay. Yeah. I can speak a bit of Hindi, you know? I'm growing up. <laughs> yeah, I'm, assuming you, I'm assuming you, you don't. I use. speak Hindi. Oh, yeah? A little bit. Yeah. Oh, let's talk about it. Huh? Yeah. Ah. Oh. Acha. <laughs> so it used to be here. I don't know if they. Oh, they moved it. Oh yeah, you are correct. It used to be here. It used to be here. Yeah. Now it's something else. <laughs> they got rid of it. Sorry, yeah. MJ. They used to have a uh, oxygen tank here. Yeah. Oh, not oxygen. Oxygen bed. Bed. Yeah. Yeah. To lie down and like apparently. Yeah, Michael. Michael. You. Michael Jackson type. Yeah. <laughs> so I think the owner had this. Uh, uh, hope that Michael Jackson will come visit one day and he'll yeah. have an oxygen sort of a sleeping tank ready for him. <laughs> There's yeah. this thing called the OCI, the Overseas Citizen of India. All oh, right. That we can actually apply for as Singaporeans, right? Because we have roots back home. Yeah. Um, but I can't find the paperwork for my grandparents ah. and my grandmother, so I don't have any. So I can't prove that they were from India. But you can just send your photo, right? <laughs> if only it was that simple. But they don't have any records, you see, of this right. person being there. So, yeah. like, my, my wife can get it, but I can't get it. Right. Which is so sad. But, but what, 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 what does that, uh, what extra... You don't need a visa. Ah, okay. You are permanently an OCI. Right. OC citizen of India. Right. And then, um, but this is the misogyny that comes in. If I get it, my wife can get it. But if my wife gets it, I can't get it. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> right. Take you to the most uh, Punjabi place la. There's Most no, Punjabi place in there's, Singapore there's, there's no real like 100% Punjabi food in Singapore Yeah All of it is you know North Indian Yeah But this is the most Punjabi place <laughs> <laughs> Wait, your dad was uh, in civil service before as well? Yeah, he was in the CID Handled some wow. quite, uh, some big cases in Singapore He was um, he was involved in, uh, I, I'm not sure to what extent, but he was involved with the Adrian Lim, Lim fa, uh, case in Singapore. Crazy guy, he just like uh, tortured and then murdered a small girl and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that's long, long time ago, long right? Long ago. And, and then, then uh, the Hotel New World, I, Hotel New I think it was Hotel New World that collapsed. My right. dad was on site also. Wow. Yeah, got involved in some cases. So he, uh, even the one, the, the very famous, uh, the curry case. Oh, yeah. The one where the guy chopped up and put Yeah, yeah, yeah. The <laughs> church, right? The church caretaker, yeah. right? Yeah, and he was he was involved in that case oh, investigating wow. as well. Wow. Yeah, so if you uh, don't, aren't aware of that case, it was, uh, I think, a caretaker of the church. Uh, the church near Dobby God, right? I think so. I believe so. Yeah. yeah uh, he killed someone. I can't remember who it was. And then to try and hide the crime, he chopped uh, the guy up and then cooked the uh, curry. <laughs> yeah, and then <laughs> delivered it all all over Singapore. Yeah, you know it's uh, quite surprising for that to happen in Singapore. Usually cases like this happens in Hong Kong, yeah. where they kill someone and they chop them up and cook them. <laughs> exactly. Oh. Which one? Jaggi. Jaggi's. That's all right. All right. Juggies. Look, it's got some Chinese writing on it. <laughs> Authentic Punjabi cuisine. Let's try. 
Jigga shit chan, Punjabi shan. No, I can't, I can't read that. I'm just. No, I can't read the Chinese. Hello. Just gonna try some of your green food and just shoot some videos there, okay? Thank you, thank you so much. Yeah, I asked him, oh, is it a Punjabi place? I said, okay, come here. <laughs> thank you. Oh, they got this ordering system. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So let's have butter chicken. Yeah. Because it's really good here. Yeah. Like what what is sabzi? Sabzi is vegetable. This is a vegetable oh, dish. Okay. We call it sabzi. Do you like dal or do you yeah. want something? Yeah, let's get a dal. You want chapati or you want roti? Oh, you want naan? Um, chapati. chapati. Healthier. <laughs> right. <laughs> is it? A, it is. <laughs> theoretically. We've got some tandoori, kebabs. Smells good. Looks good, smells good. This looks delicious. So we read what in the Paul describes as the most Punjabi place in Singapore. <laughs> Jungis. Jagis. 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 All right. So you got some uh, butter, butter chicken. Yep. This dal makani. Dal makani. This is uh, lamb kebab. Lamb kebab. Mutton. Mutton, mutton, mutton kebab. kebab. That's right. You got some uh, chapati and naan. Huh? That's right. And some masala chai to wash it all down. Yep. Can't go wrong. This is a bit of a. Red onion and uh, chutney. That's correct. Okay. Kana, kana kai. Kana kate. Kana kate. Hello. Shuru karoji. <laughs> Shuru. Karoji. That's Punjabi. Shuru. Yes. Please begin. Shuru karoji. Karoji. Shuru karoji. Shuru karoji. Let's go. All right. <laughs> so I'm here at Indepal's uh, pop-up dinner. He's uh, recreating his master chef hits. Hi guys, how are you? Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, this is a 10 course journey of what it means to me to be a Punjabi born, Singaporean born Punjabi in Singapore. So the food that you're gonna taste is gonna be reflective of the kind of food I grew up eating. The stuff I had to pull out of a rabbit's hat at the, you know, when I was stuck in the corner in the MasterChef kitchen. <laughs> you know, stuff like that. So for those of you who are having some dietary restrictions, we've taken care of all of them. So please just enjoy yourselves. Uh, my service staff is at the back. She will help you whatever we can. She also happens to be my lovely wife, so please be kind to her. <laughs> let's have fun and let's do it Thank you very much. Thank you. Try this. This is something if you go to the job with the windows, you will see everywhere. I've been waiting all night for you to serve me one. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, boss. We have a palate cleanser. Before our main meal. Okay, my friends, we have a palate cleanser for you before we move on to the meal. Thank you, boss.